water slide paper for inkjet and laser and you do not need to top coat this. This has been provided to me to test and demonstrate by Koala and that's what we're going to do coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the loft above the shop and what I'm going to be covering here on this little video is this uh, no need spray it says so right on the package uh, normally when you're going to do things with water slide and I do very little of this but uh, I have done some of it after you print that on an inkjet printer you need to top coat it with polycrylic or polyurethane or a lacquer or something otherwise the colors will bleed and this here says you don't need to spray it with a top coat so we're going to find out how well that works uh, if you're not familiar with the water slide decal it is uh, something you print and then you cut out around it and apply that to a hard substrate. You can't put it on fabric or t-shirts or anything but something hard like coffee mug or something like that or plates or that type of thing and that's what I'm going to be doing with this to demonstrate how it works and if you have a good substrate uh, such so like a, a coffee mug or a ceramic plate you then need to bake it in an oven uh, to cure it. Uh, water slide decals that's nothing new. Back in the early to mid 60s when I was a kid and yes I'm really that old uh, my parents would go on we would go on these vacations and they would buy decals at different tourist trap places as I call them souvenir shops and apply them to the side of the camper that we pulled around on these multi-state trips. So water slide decals aren't anything new. Something that is kind of new though is you can make them yourself now. So I'm gonna get one printed here. I got a couple graphics laid out. I did an Inkscape. I need to take this in and print it on an inkjet printer because the only printers I have up here are sublimation printers. They aren't gonna work too well. So I'll take this in, we'll get it printed and we'll come back and find something to stick them on. Yeah, printed on my graphics here. I've done one on uh, with a laser printer. That's this one right here. And I've done one with a Canon photo printer, which is this one right here. Uh, I was going to mark on these which was which, but I got in a hurry when I was doing the one for the laser and didn't do it borderless, so I got a border on it so it's going to be easy for me to tell these apart. Uh, the logo pieces down at the bottom for the, uh, the Ham's beer is for this retro type can right here and I'm going to be using that for something up at our camp on some beer glasses so obviously I won't be showing that here but I'm going to be putting this graphic here this is a, a scene from Denali Park in Alaska and I'm going to be putting that on a couple of Dollar Tree mugs this particular decal paper has a white background as opposed to being transparent so uh, it, whatever you don't cut off is going to be white you'll be able to see that white so you'll be able to put it on some dark substrates if you wish. I am going to cut this as close as I can on the long sides. And these other ones here will be using on some uh, beer glasses up at camp, but those aren't here so I can't do it here. But you'll get the idea from this. Of course this is the one that was done with the laser. And I'm going to leave the two border pieces on the end so we'll be able to tell them apart once they are put on the cup. Also as you go to print this there is a uh, one side is whiter and smoother than the other side and the side that is not white and smooth is the back. It's not really marked you're just going to have to kind of look and feel it. So kind of get a little bit of a trial fit here on how this is going to work. So we'll get the other one cut out. Okay a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need a pan big enough for your decal. Let's have a little aluminum cake pan right here that I'll be able to put my graphic in. You need to clean your cup, make sure it's good and clean. I did that already with some rubbing alcohol. You will need water in a spray bottle. That's what's in here. This sprays plain water. Yep. So what we need to do first is, and I'm going to do the uh, inkjet one here first, is I'm going to place it in the pan until it starts to, as they say, slip. And it's going to want to curl up, so you're going to have to hold it down. Get the cup out of the way so you can see what I'm doing there. So you see the ends will try to curl. And you'll need to leave that in there until it will slide on the backing paper. And while that's soaking there, you will need to 
put a mist of water on the outside of your cup or substrate or whatever you're doing this on. You don't have to get wild weather, just want to just want it wet. And you'll need to have a few paper towels around to uh, wipe things down once you get it in position. Okay, this is starting to slip. Make sure it slides completely. You can see here I can take a corner and slip it like that. That's when and with the whole thing will now slide. So now we're ready to put it onto our project. I'm going to lay this down on its side. We'll slip this off. I'm going to keep my graphic up here at the top. And once you get everything where you want it, You can also use a squeegee. I do not have a felt squeegee up here. If it gets out of position, you can always spray a little bit more water on it to put it back where it belongs. And make sure I have no wrinkles in here. This cup did not look tapered until I put this paper on it, or this decal on it. A little bit of a taper to this cup. You can see that right here by the handle where it's narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. But we'll set that one off to the side. It's going to need to be baked or heated and because this is a uh, substrate that can be heated in an oven I'll be baking this in a toaster oven. And since this is a picture of Alaska I guess we'll have baked Alaska. But it won't taste the same though. Okay we'll get our other one prepped here. This is the one that was done on the laser printer. And of course this will want to curl immediately so you'll need to hold her down and we'll get this cup sprayed with a little bit of water and we'll just wait for this to slip or slide or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's ready to slide. Put my cup down here and get it ready. Slide that off the backing. You don't need to get it centered up a little bit here. And I want to keep my graphic up as close as I can to the rim. And once you get it pretty much centered where you want it, and I am not centered by any means here yet. A little better. Start wiping it down with a paper towel. Or a felt squeegee if you happen to have one. Watch out for wrinkles. If you're doing this on a taper container, you're going to have a little bit of a problem with wrinkles. You're going to have to watch it real close. The taper is severe that may not even work out. As you can see here I got a little crooked one uphill. It's very easy to slide this down, straighten it back out. Just have to watch for that wrinkle that'll form when you do it because of the taper. So I kind of have to split the difference a little bit. And this one's ready for the oven. Yeah, I'm actually using a toaster oven and it is behind that 3D printer. It's kind of hard to see. It's white. It's got a little uh, neon light glowing on it. 230 degrees for 15 minutes. I didn't want to turn on the big oven up here. We didn't have to. That little toaster oven works just fine for this and it's easy to set at that low temperature. So we'll wait for them to come out. Okay, while well, those are cooking, I guess you could say, talk a little bit about this uh, water slide decal paper where no need spray. Uh, typically when you use water, water slide paper you need to spray it um, afterwards with some type of coating to protect the, uh, the ink or the toner depending whether you use inkjet or laser. I'm doing this with both just to kind of demonstrate any kind of difference there is. Uh, so far it doesn't look like there is any difference. The uh, printer I used for the inkjet was a high-end Canon 8300 photo printer. It wasn't your little cheap one and the uh, color laser printer is a uh, somewhat higher-end brother is the brand. As I mentioned earlier Koala provided this to me to test and demonstrate which I'm doing here. A uh, couple little things about it. Um, obviously you can't bake everything. Uh, they say 230 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Of, otherwise you could use a hair dryer or a heat gun, that type of thing. 
Uh, if it's something you can't be putting in the oven like that, yeah, use a hair dryer to cure it. Just set the hair dryer in high and watch you don't scorch anything. Uh, is the stuffed dishwasher safe? No. You need to wash it by hand. And of course it tells you to uh, not scratch the decals because yes, you could potentially scratch that off. This is not the same as dye sublimation onto a coated mug. Here this is a surface applied. It'd be not much different than if you were putting vinyl on a cup. You could, yeah, you could scratch that off, so you need to be careful. Uh, as far as putting something hot in it, I don't think that would be a problem. If, you know, a hot cup of coffee or something like that, that shouldn't be any issue at all. So I'll get these out of the oven here and we'll see how they look. Okay, so I went ding. That must mean fries are done. In this case, our baked Alaska. I know those are going to be hot. It's got the silicone gloves on here. This is kind of reaching through the printer to get these. Take these out and we'll set them here to cool. Okay, looking this over, and these are still hot. Results are striking. I, I mean, I really like these. Uh, I wish that I would have remembered to do this borderless, or maybe I should have cut that white border off of this. Um, if you're doing an irregular shape, you would uh, cut around. You could have some white borders showing if you wanted to, or you could get exact with it. Or if you really want to take it the long way and you've got a really regular shape, you could actually cut it on a Cricut if you get all the layout right. That would be a subject with a whole other video there. Uh, the one, this is the inkjet one here. And I like this. So that kind of gives you some options of what you could do with decals. This is uh, completely different from sublimation, which is what I generally do. But I've got a couple ideas here. Well, of course, you saw my ham stickers there to do on some uh, beer glasses I have up at camp because I'm a old retro beer guy. So all you young people and the hipsters that think you just found something great, ham's beer has been around for a long time. I was, that's what I started on back in the mid-70s when I turned of age. Did I ever drink underage? Well, you can think about that. So... What do I think of this stuff? I like it. I think it has a lot of possibilities and a lot of uh, potential uses. And boy, that even soaked through the glove a little bit. Those are hot. You definitely want to let those cool off. So that as this is from Koala. Koala, like a koala bear. And there will be a link in the description on where to get this. And if um, you want to get into doing some water slide projects and decals, this would be just a ticket. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers, naturally. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.